back in the day, Kurosawa was kind of the master of multiple camera action movies, and they were very deliberate. Every camera was placed in a very deliberate place, and he's really considering where each cut goes. And you know, while that still happens today, I think the worst version is where people just set up a bunch of cameras uh, and uh, shoot a bunch of stuff and figure it out later. And 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 the the worst version of that results in action sequences that you can't follow. You know, they're all cut up, and there's like exciting bits and bobs, but you don't know what's happening. And you know. For me, it's the most thrilling to be like totally engaged, catch every beat, be totally immersed in the world, and uh, and, and 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 just be in it. You know, I mean, there's there's ways in in which you know, uh, you know, like 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 the video game experience is is totally immersive, and you can do that kind of thing with a single camera, where you can't do it with a multiple camera shoot. You know, and I also think that when you're playing out like a long battle scene in live time you believe it more, you know, because you get, because you're not, you know, lying. The benefits would be that it's as an actor, uh, more immersive. You are, um, once you get started, you're in it till you finish the whole sequence rather than, um, chopping it up, doing bits and pieces, uh, Working on location was uh, challenging, but also very rewarding. And uh, if when if you're going to make a, an immersive what Viking story, it feels like you kind of want to be out in the elements and not shoot it on a on a nice and cozy soundstage. Um, in terms of the way with these long shots, it was obviously um, technically very challenging there are a lot of um components uh to making a shot like that work um behind camera and in front of camera obviously um so it it just entailed a uh, much more in 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 pre-production much more uh work much more rehearsals uh, much more um, work with the camera department in, in, in always knowing where the camera is and figuring out that relationship in a way um, I, you normally don't on a, on, a, on, on a big action adventure film. This is an epic movie and it needed epic landscapes and it was the landscapes of Iceland that inspired me to want to make a Viking movie you know, in the first place. And so we're trying to find the most epic, stunning, but also like brutal and punishing landscapes, you know, landscapes that can eat you know, humankind alive, uh, you know, and, and that's where we wanted to shoot, you know, uh, and it, and, and it just like makes it so much more real for the actors and hopefully that much more real for the audience too. You don't really have to, to suspend disbelief much. You're, um, in an environment that is very authentic um the the farm on which most of the movie takes place is is 100 authentic and was built a year before we shot the movie with the help of viking scholars and um archaeologists and historians to make it look on and 100 authentic it was they used the right type of wood and the right technique in building it and planted the right type of grass and flowers. Um, so um, when you step onto a, a set like that, it's, it's, it's not difficult to feel immersed in that world and, 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 and transported back to, to the Viking age. You know, the, uh, we, we are, we're working with the finest historians and archaeologists uh, uh, in the field of Viking studies and also people who are part of the experimental archaeology and living history community who, 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 you know, take it really seriously to become Vikings on the weekends and put to test what the historians and archaeologists are, uh, are hypothesizing. So we had like an incredibly large core team of people who are, you know, the experts. So, uh, you know, and I was always constantly turning to them for, to, for advice. And, and, uh, and also, you know, uh, no one's ever tried to make a historically accurate Viking movie before. So, so we had an opportunity to do something that had never been done. I've 
harbored a dream of, of making a Viking movie for many, many years. And, uh, but it wasn't until I met Robert Eggers uh, five years ago that th the project that became like the, the kernel of the genesis of what eventually became the Northman. Uh, um, and it, it, it felt like the perfect story. It's based on, a, on Prince Amlet of Jutland, which is a 12th century uh, revenge story by Saxo Grammaticus, a story that Shakespeare then based Hamlet on. Um, and there's our most likely of Icelandic stories from the 10th century that that uh, Saxo Gram based his story on. So it, it is a very authentic ancient uh, Norse tale. And that's exactly what we were after and, and something that felt very um, with the potential to make it on a, on a big scale, a big scope, but with an intimate family relationship drama at the, at the core.